All right, I've been using the Loop Deck CT with Final Cut Pro for some time now. These are my thoughts. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. And make sure you hit that bell icon so you know exactly when that new content drops. So it's been a while. I've been testing out this Loop Deck CT in my workflow, music production, video production, and streaming as well. Streaming video to come if it's not already out by the time you see this video. But the good people over at Loop Deck sent me over the Loop Deck CT to give you my honest review and an opinion on it. So I am going to do that. It's it's a pretty cool device. You know, if, if you've seen one, then you know it looks beautiful on the eyes. But most importantly, it can be a super dope tool and save you a lot of time in your creative process. So today, specifically, I wanna talk about my Final Cut Pro experience and how I've been liking it in Final Cut Pro. Now, the dope thing is that you can download Final Cut Pro custom profile right from the marketplace, the Loop Deck CT marketplace or the Loop Deck marketplace, which was super dope because it gets you up and running immediately. It has like a ton of shortcuts already laid out. So what I did was I downloaded that custom profile, installed it, and then I kind of went in and tweaked some shortcuts that I know I use a lot and that I want right there on that first page and just put them all there on the first page and then just kind of kept everything the way it was because there's, if you've ever used Final Cut Pro, like there's a ton of shortcuts. Honestly, in any video app, it's gonna be a ton of shortcuts and I personally do not remember them all. So the Loop Deck allows me to not have to remember all of those shortcuts. So it makes it really, really convenient. And that's one thing I've been loving about using this device in my workflow and, and Final Cut Pro, because I don't have to really think, like it's just right there. You know, you have a, a nice icon so you can kind of see what it is. And then there's also a title in each of the, on each of the buttons. So you know exactly what you're hitting and the jog wheel is super, super dope for scrolling on the timeline. Now, there is one thing that I had a, a little hiccup on when kind of using this in my workflow, and that is with a custom profile that was already just set up on the, I think it was the first page, the jog wheel setting for whatever reason, I don't even know why, but when I would move it, it would work as normal, and then it would just jump ahead like 20, 50 frames, like just out of nowhere. So I don't know what that was about. So to work around that, I pretty much just customized the jog wheel to, I think I did, I either did one frame or 10 frames. I think I might've did one frame. Like, so when you turn it, turns it one frame. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's like one frame. And then that worked fine. And then there's another page where the jog wheel setting, it allows you to pick between one or 10 frames. Like if you tap the top half of that wheel, it'll change it to one. If you tap the lower half, it'll change it to 10. That worked fine on one and 10, but for whatever reason on that first page, the jog wheel setting on there, it would just skip, for me at least. I don't know if that's been everybody's experience, but I know for me on my computer, it just would skip. So I had to kind of change that um, and tweak that so that wouldn't happen because that was, that was getting real annoying. But other than that, I must say, it has definitely helped my workflow in Final Cut Pro. Honestly, I probably use it a lot more in Final Cut Pro than I do in Logic Pro. And like, I'm a music producer, right? And I think that's just because I'm still setting some things up to my liking in Logic Pro. So as, as I learn new shortcuts and, and kind of arrange them the way I want, I think, you know, that workflow will be a lot smoother. But in this Final Cut Pro workflow, literally I can take my computer keyboard and set it to the side and only use the Loop Deck CT and my mouse. And that's been like the perfect setup for me. It's, it's nice and minimal and yeah, hands on the Loop Deck, 
hands on the mouse. Oh, I only use the mouse to like select or click. I could probably set it up to, to be able to click on the loop deck, but I'm not a huge fan of the mouse pad option on there because it's just, it's really jumpy and skippy and I'm not a fan of that. But yeah, the mouse and the loop deck gets the job done in Final Cut Pro for me. And I really like it. I feel like it's saving me time. I can quickly, you know, get to where I want to get to. And then on the playhead, like if I'm, say I'm, I'm trying to split a region, right? You can use the arrows. There's like little side arrows on here where I can just click it and just nudge it more precisely versus using the jog wheel. Cause the jog wheel may skip, you know, skip a little further ahead than I would like, but with these arrows here is set to where I can kind of fine tune and get to the spot that I really want to get to, especially if I'm cutting and splicing things with the blade. So that helps a lot and I really, really like that. Another cool feature with the Loop Deck CT and its custom profile for Logic Pro is you can also do like color grading and stuff like that. So it has a page dedicated for that and it, it just has everything there right there on that one interface so you don't have to waste time you know scrolling through a bunch of windows and menus and things like that in logic pro or remembering a ton of shortcuts so it's definitely a time saver so my final thoughts overall is i think it's a great device like i said before you know the thing that really makes a loop deck stand out is the fact that it works across multiple apps so you're not just buying this to use it for Final Cut Pro, unless you are. If you are, then that's dope. But for me, I like it because I can use this one device in Final Cut Pro, in Logic Pro, you know, in my streaming setup. So, and not only that, but even for desktop shortcuts, you know, playing music and skipping tracks and different things like that, screenshots, like whatever it is, you can apply shortcuts for your computer right there in a in a your own custom profile pretty much so it's really really cool really flexible overall i think it's a great device and it's definitely improved my workflow in final cut pro so if you're trying to get your hands on one of these loop deck cts i'll leave a link in the description and i'll also leave a link to loop deck so you can check out more of their products because they make other uh, super dope products for creatives such as yourself Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.